Yo, what is up everyone? Yoda Dude 2003 here, and today I'm going to show you from start to finish how to extract texture data from the PC or Xbox edition of your favorite LEGO video game. Before we get into the video though, I'd like to make a note that the tool I created for this will not work with every single LEGO game. In fact, I've only ever tested it with LEGO Star Wars 1 but it should support any of the other older LEGO games such as LEGO Star Wars 2 and even Bionicle Heroes. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. So, let's assume that you just got your hands on a stock copy of LEGO Star Wars 1 and you want to extract some textures from it. Before you're able to do that, you have to extract the actual game data from this game.dat archive. To do this, you need a tool called QuickBMS, a free and bare-bones archive manager that uses portable script files to extract data from a wide variety of archive types. Before we do this though, quickly create a new folder called lego underscore data in the same directory as your game.dat. Then, use the link in the description to navigate to this page. Alright, so once you've clicked the link in the description and found this page, what you're going to do is you're going to click this first link right here and you're going to download Quick BMS. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to open it up and extract it to any directory you would like. Afterwards, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down until you find this Traveler's Tales Games Dat link, and what you're going to do is you're just going to click on that, and that will be the script that we will use in order to extract our game.dat. Now that you have those two things downloaded, you're going to double click on quickbms.exe and you're going to find your TT Games BMS script wherever you downloaded that. So you're going to double click on that and next you're going to navigate to the game.dat file itself and double click on that. Next it's going to ask you where you want to extract it to. Just go to your lego underscore data folder and hit save. For the Xbox versions of these games, you will follow a similar process to extract the game data, but I won't cover that in this video. So while this is running, let's go ahead and download the star of the show, Nuxtractor. Nuxtractor is a tool that I created that makes it super easy and simple to extract texture data from lego games. The only platforms that are supported for now are PC and Xbox and the program can currently only extract textures from level files. Despite these limitations, it can be a lot of fun to look through these files and pick them apart, and I actually use this tool to help my friend Linterni Gamer to extract the textures inside of prototype level files from LEGO Star Wars the video game. Anyways, in order to download this tool, you can use the link in the description and download the most recent version of the tool from my site. I'll also link the GitHub repository for those who are interested. Once that's downloaded, extract it to whichever directory and open up this binaries folder. Next, find the .nup or .nux level file of interest and copy it to this folder. Afterwards, open up a PowerShell window using the shortcut in the File Explorer's toolbar. Type cmd, then hit enter, and next you're going to type nuxtractor space dash i space and then you're going to type the name of your file in this case it's map e dot nup which is a pc level file and next you're going to hit space dash m space and for a pc level file you're going to type all caps dds or for an xbox level file you would type all caps DXT1. But since this is a PC level file, we're going to type DDS. So next you're just going to hit enter and it'll extract everything. Once you're finished with that, you will be greeted by this bright blue text that just shows who created the tool and where you can find more of my software. So you can just minimize that and you'll see this dot textures folder here. This is where your extracted textures will be, and you can just open that up and enjoy. But yeah guys, please do make sure that you credit me in the tool for any public use of the textures that you extract with it, as I worked very hard to make it possible in the first place. 
I want to give a special thanks to Linterny Gamer, as he's the one who gave me the idea to do this. I also want to give a thanks to you for watching this video and using my tool. It means a lot to me, and your support motivates me to make software like this free and easy to use for everyone. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!